Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I will be playing Plants vs. Zombies. And it's been a while since I played this game. So, let's start off by verifying our age. And I'm 16 years old. So, they, they uh, apparently have a user agreement. And, yeah, I never played this game for a long time. Loud notifications. And, yeah, the apps has changed for a while. They used to have uh, that gravestone where the hand pops out. So, I'm gonna start off by naming myself uh, just a casual name. I'm just gonna put my first and second name. So, my name will be Edward John. Because that's my first and middle name. So... What I'm gonna do in this uh, gameplay is I'm gonna sort of explore the game again because I've been playing this game for about like a good 10 years uh, ever since it came out. Probably like I started playing 2010 or 11 and yeah, take a look at the hints right now and oops. like a lot but we're gonna go ahead and press play three two one go okay we're back in business right now to play this on my nintendo ds uh, but that was a while back I still have it in me. Tap on a seed packed into. Yeah, nicely done. You can now drag and drop seed packet. Tap on the falling sun to collect it. Keep on collecting sun. You'll need it to grow more plants. So, this is called a pea shooter. I obviously know what it is because I played it before. Don't let the zombies reach your house. So, yeah, they're just gonna start shooting the zombie. And might as well put another pea shooter over here to make things fancy, because I usually keep one for And we got triple the firepower. And we're here on our final wave. Okay. Oh, we have another seed packet to pick up. Power. Uh, so let's see what. Oh, sunflower gives you additional sun. Okay. Additional sun. And this is, will be our production for all the plants. It's a very important plant right here. And go on to level 2. And we have two more rows appearing in front of us. Uh, sunflowers are an extremely important plant. Try to plant at least three of them. So I'm going to focus on having my sunflowers before I do anything else because that's really important okay got our setup of sunflowers here and we're gonna start putting our rows and it looks like our first zombie appears so I've been cruising around this game. Uh, I know that there is a second game out there. I've been playing that for them. But the original game, in my opinion, is better for the Belgian part. And uh, another reason is that they have multiplayer, which is against the plants and the zombies. 
you're team plants and you're team zombies and you're planting all that kind of stuff but i'm i'm not sure if it's on multiplayer uh but we'll see if i have another i'm just gonna get another picture. if they have any multiplayer games plants for stuff doing good so far we're killing all the zombies and we're gonna reach our final and only wave oh so we're gonna put our last picture and huge wave of zombies is approaching Might as well put a, a pea shooter on the center just to feel good. And another sunflower. Okay, we have picked up our third plant. Like, this plant is gonna be very expensive. So, this is the cherry bomb. Blows up all zombies in an area. We're gonna reach our third level, and there are Conehead Zombies. I've been very familiar with Conehead Zombies. So, we have our flower. Hopefully we could get a cherry bomb out there. Brains. That's our second row of computers. haven't known, uh, Plants vs. Zombies was made uh, or released in 2009 and it was the first game of the Plants vs. Zombies franchise which would branch off into the more uh, modern games of the Plants vs. Zombie franchise that we know. Like, I think they have uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare and Plants vs. Zombies 2 where they added something to the original game i think and then they also made plants vs zombies heroes is uh, i never played that game so it's a nice way to start off everything with the original game and i started it at a good time as well because i am on spring break and today's March 15, 2022, or 2022, and it's also 7.50pm, so it's a very perfect time for me to just revisit the game and then a lot of stuff that I miss from the original, because the original is always good. And we have collected our fourth plant. 
Let's see what this does. Okay. The walnut blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. Okay, now we have a full board of plants. I mean, of, of grassland to plant on. I believe this is the, the front house. And there's a couple of fencing on the, the top of the screen right there. Yeah, it seems like a very modern house. So, I'm thinking that these walnuts are very handy. Long run where we have to fend off a bunch of zombies. Brains. Brains. started taking bites out of my plant but luckily my pea shooter survived Brains. i think over here would be a nice spot to put walnut leaves to 8 p.m. around my time. Well, one of the Conehead zombies might end up eating my walnuts. like that one because it's not dead yet so we're gonna have to have more firepower Cherry bomb. Now that we have a full row of grass, or a full a full board of grass, if I can get it out in time. Okay. And it looks like we don't have a plant this time. Looks like we don't have a plant this time. We have a shovel. Shovel lets you dig up a plant to make room for another plant. 
Wabby Wabble. Okay. My boy Crazy Dave. So, I know this character. This is a very important character if you haven't noticed your guy for the plants versus zombie anything because he teaches you how to handle the zombies and i think he kind of warns you about some stuff like uh gives you advice or anything so let's see what he says greetings neighbor the name's crazy dave but you, but you can just call me crazy dave listen i got a surprise for you but first, I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use your shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence. Alright. We're gonna drag this spot. I'm just gonna tap it. Tap it. Okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling. Here, take this walnut. <laughs> He's holding it in his hand. This is how I know, like, like he knows how to work with all kinds of plants. He could hold it in actual hand. Why I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now go bowl me a winner. Sure thing, Crazy Dave. What we're gonna do with all of the walnuts? Place them, and then all the zombies. We're gonna pull them up. Just think of the zombies as a bowling pin, and the walnuts as the bowling balls. So this is a very explosive nut. All of you guys can see that we have a different color. They're red. So, yeah, we have a lot of walnuts to spare because it just keeps going in and going in from the conveyor belt. And then we're going to. Good, good thing going on. Looks like uh, the cost to take out the bones from the head is one walnut, and then another hit on the walnut is to take out their head. Uh, yeah, we're going on to the big, huge wave, and it looks like I never saved up any. Uh, I'll just call them walnut bombs. Now. And then this one, th that walnut could just bounce off and hit that flag zombie, and then go on to the other zombie, and then it can this one. Okay, we have two zombies, and hopefully he could give us a red one. That nah, didn't give us a red one, but we're gonna go with it. And they gave us another plant. Okay, have the potato mine. Explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. So, we're gonna go on to level number six and finish off. I think that's a gymnastic hanging zombie or something. I don't know. I don't know all these zombies' names. We're gonna work on placing our sunflowers. Very important to the economy plant. So we're gonna place our 
potato mine. I'm not sure how long it takes to have them armed. I guess you have to wait until they just randomly appear on the top. But yeah, like that, like that. Okay, looks like we have our new achievement. It's called Spadel. Turn that the uh, potatoes in. get exploded. Okay, pretty good so far. Brains. Then I'm gonna put on e shooters for the next zombie that arrives. Have our potato mine. I never forgot about that zombie on top, so let's put on the shooter there. And it looks like we're gonna time fail on this, and the zombie's gonna eat the potato. No way. No way that just connected. Or blew up, blew up. We have our very infamous bonehead zombie. Just a zombie with a bone on its head, but it's armor. gonna hit our new zombie that we're countering and let's see if the okay it doesn't blow up on the potato mine the zombie's foot is on the potato mine i don't understand why it's not Let's see if it blows up on here, because it's more closer, I guess. We almost have a full row of potato mines. Hopefully they don't get to the potato mines because they're nice. precious. And we're almost done with our uh with our episode. We're gonna reach level 10. That's what I'm planning to do. Then we can go on to the other level. I'm not dealing with you, bro. I'm not dealing with you, bro. Okay, now that we- I can just put this in the center, cause... Looks like we have our new plant. It looks a lot like peach here, but... Ooh. So, let's see what this does. Okay, snow pea. Shoots frozen peas that damage and slow the enemy. On to level number 7. At Edward John's house, although I'm recording this at my parents' house, well, don't worry. Then this house that costs wow, 175 sun. Looks like it, it exploded some french fries because, uh, in my opinion, those are french fries or potato wedges. Brains.
Placing more potato mines. I find that if you place them early when no zombies there, eventually the zombies are gonna arrive at the potato mines. So. a risk but I'm gonna place one snow peak hopefully destroy that zombie and since the zombie is much more slower it's gonna take some time to reach that potato mine and take some bites out of it please blow up please great okay a bit of a problem here and time to have some reinforcements. Oh! Okay, good, good, good. Don't take any more bites out of that. Alright. Okay. We're doing good so far. We are going up against that zombie right there. And I think it has a little bit more health points than the average zombie. Just my opinion. Okay. Please die. Oh, oh god. We're gonna need more sun power if we're gonna... I'm not the only one planting them, so. So we're gonna have. There's. Okay, we're in a good place so far. I say this is pretty good. Considering uh, that snow pea is almost double the price of normal. I never even noticed that we have two waves. potato mine but that's fixable we have another potato mine re recharging in just a bit and we have over 900 stun i have a feeling he's gonna blow up we reached 
thousand sun. Just make it a thousand just to put it in. Okay, after these cone heads, we should reach our final. Wait. Yeah, I stand correct. Now we reached, uh, have a new plant. Over 1,600, just exactly 1,600 sun. So the chomper, it devours a zombie whole, but is vulnerable while chewing. Edward John's house. And it looks like we have a unwanted guest. Which is the bucket zombie. I think we should leave out the peach for time. We're gonna get a row of sunflowers as soon as possible. Our recording time is at 30 32 minutes. And 22 seconds. Brains. I'm gonna place it on this side. like he's taking out chunks of the walnut took off a chunk and it's not it's not happy anymore that's an indicator that that's not a healthy walnut i'm gonna put a potato mine over there just for a safe measure i think it has enough time to reach That was another close one. zombie also familiar with this it's a little bit stronger than the, the conehead zombie and we are we already have three insta kill plants the chopper the potato mine and cherry bomb uh you're not gonna read you're not gonna read that potato mine in time. Crap. 
We at least have some defense in each lane so far. Oh, and we could save our cherry bomb for last. Plant. It's also a pea shooter related plant. Okay, the repeater fires two peas at a time. Back at Edward John's house, we will pick up a repeater. Actual. In case I need a cheap something, it's gonna. This is going to rely only on chompers and the repeater. Uh, yeah. We're already on the ninth level, and it's been thirty. 7 minutes and 35, 36, 37 seconds. This time we don't have pota potato mines, which is... I've been using that plant for a long time, many countless of times videos, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with the whole um, potato mine explosions thing, so we're gonna get our choppers. We didn't get a lot of those the last... We didn't get a lot of those on the board the last level, so I want to give them some good. Placing a full row of peas, and then moving on to the repeaters. Sunflowers and peppers. We're almost going to have a full row of walnuts. Oh crap, 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 crap. All costs comes with the sacrifice. Oh. 
start to build my repeater population and place one down. bomb for the first because I think that's gonna be a time saver Brains. for the because I know they're tired of shooting Zombie approaching us. This calls for some repeater power. Oof. Okay, that chopper is gonna eat it, but uh, nice try, I guess. officially have a full row of pea shooters. like we're gonna take out uh, three bonehead zombies almost at the same time and we're gonna place our final chopper and this is basically our full board of plants we have a variety of plants uh, just gonna place that chopper there And save up for a cherry bomb for the final wave that's gonna arrive soon. Okay, moment beef in a wave. Okay, we're gonna do something smart about this and place our cherry bomb somewhere smart place. A mostly armored zombies like the bucket and bone heads. Okay, we're done with our final wave for that level. And it looks like we have our... It looks like it's a note. Yeah, it's a note. Or a map. Ooh, it's turning dark. Okay. Hello, we are... About to launch an all-out attack on your house. House. Sincerely, the zombies. Okay. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. It's just no zombies on the road. On. Okay, level 10. Be the finale. I guess. 
because that's what we have in the section right here and there's no level after that so let's make it our last not last but in ep a pretty epic battle three two one back at edward john's house holy shoot okay we're gonna have to fight on this one because like we have the same conveyor belt from the walnut bowling thing but time we we're not bowling we're actually fighting for our lives and i also like this song and this music as well it is one of my one of the reasons why i like the original one over the other games class first franchise place everything around. Oh shoot, that was a thousand But of course if he is getting a small on every lane as well as a small row of not row but a very crooked row. Make sure every lane gets a snow peak. And that zombie Fighting that one uh, bucket heads boss that's considered a boss. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Okay, we're gonna go through our first wave so far. I'm not gonna cheat and use the cherry bombs. Uh, chompers would be nice though if they had chompers. Okay, just take out this bucket head. All because we are overflowing all the cherry bombs at the moment. And this is looking... Sorry guys, that was a voice crack, but... This is looking pretty good so far for my first episode on this channel. And it looks like they don't have any chompers. Or they had chompers the first time I played this.
Okay, those three, those three cherry bombs uh, is gonna be saved for those three empty seats. Okay. I would just sit here all day and listen to this music because this is the best music in the game. So we have another plant which costs zero dollars. I mean zero sun. Well, let's see what this does. Puff shroom shoots short range spores at the enemy. So uh, apparently it shoots short range spores. I'm guessing it's uh, for a mushroom. Technically. Technically, mushrooms are pl aren't plants, but, uh, anyways, this is where we're going to end off for today's video. I hope you liked the video, watching me play the first 10 levels of the game. Uh, this is my parents' bedroom, and we're at 51 minutes. So, this is my new setup for I end the video, and this is my phone. I actually have been, let's... Let's just lower the light on this real quick. This is what my, uh, this is the phone I've been using it on. I'm not sure if you can see, but this is the puff shoot. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. Check out my other videos that will be, uh, that I'll be making soon. Uh, but for now, I'm going to say bye and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later.